and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you a drawing effect. We've got a specific menu for that under filters. Let me copy this image, press and control D. Filters, image, paint and draw and drawing. I've got the right one selected so the effect will be applied directly there if I check the live preview down here. And now it's a simple two color drawing effect and you can set the two colors under fill and stroke. Let me set the fill to red. So this is what's created. And you can also see that a white outline is also created. So let me set the fill color back. Do something to a light gray. The stroke color, if I make that red, check the live preview again. This is what it does. And we also have the option to create an offset right here. And we've got the image on stroke box, which colorizes it. Let us go over the offset first. And now you can see this white outline and the stroke color creates a second outline that's now offset. You can do that in both directions. If you want to have it set in the same position, just pick zero. I want to have the image on stroke effect here to have it colorized. Under options, we've got simplify smoothness and melt. The translucent, it makes some of these parts opaque, you could say. But depending on the color combination that you've got and the photo that you use, the effect is almost non-visible. The melt effect, let's go over there first. If we increase the level, it melts these outlines into one. Dilatation and erosion are almost like the two extremes. So if we crank up the dilatation, we get more details. And if we crank up the erosion, they get erased. So for the most part, you want to have the erosion set to a very low value and then play around with the dilatation. Simplify and smoothness, they erase the details. The strength always determines the main intensity and with the second option, so clean up and erase and dilatation and erosion, we can play around with these intensities. Best way to get to know that menu is just to try it out yourself. In any way you want to keep it low for erase and erosion and then play around with the rest. Just apply it when you've got what you want. And this is how you can use the drawing filter in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.